Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome back to the another video of AWS. Till now we have completed couple of videos. If you haven't watched all those videos, I have created this playlist for you and attach all the videos under it. Okay, just go to my channel. You will find this playlist and all the videos under it. So let's move on to our today's topic. What we want to discuss today. That is type of services provided by the cloud provider. It is uh, Azure at AWS. It is not dependent to that common to every cloud provider. Okay, so there are three type of services like provided by the every cloud provider. So what are those three type of services is like first type of services is here IWS. Okay, S and PES and SES. Okay, these are the three type of services. If you ask me, hey Ashwini, why you put this all three services in this private type structure? There are very like there is very common and very specific reason like why I put these all services in private reason or I took this image from internet why they people are put this whole services in private type uh, kind of a structure. Okay, first thing is that if you understand this particular service, okay, that is IAAS, then you like you don't need to put extra effort to understand all these services. Okay. If you understand this one, what is this is the architecture, what type of service AWS provided in this, okay, then this is piece of cake, okay, you understand these all two services very easy, no problem in that, okay. So let us start our today video with all these services and we will understand in detail like how we are achieving these services and how, why AWS provided these three services and if one is available like IWS, then why we are going to the PWS and SWS that pass and says okay so the first service we are moving to that is infrastructure as a service so as this name suggests infrastructure okay as a service what is saying infrastructure so if you are building your house okay so first you what you will do you will make infrastructure after that you put like something sofa TV all these things right then after you are start living in that so in that same way with IAS, when you say to AWS, okay, AWS, give me a infrastructure, okay, what they will do, they will give you the bare machine. What is meaning of bare machine? Just like a common thing in that machine. Suppose you want to make an application, you have already one application in your local system. Now you want to run your application, right? In your local system what do you want to do like suppose you have .NET PHP application okay then you have to install like for PHP compiler and you have to install some environment where you can run your service or in terms of Java you need JVM JDK or your need one server there right to run your application or you deploy your application then your application will be run another example if I want to take an example of Spring Boot application so first to code that application i need framework that is spring boot i need java right to language and i need a server where i can deploy my service that is tomcat jt where i want to deploy my service okay this is an example like when i want to deploy my service so if you say to aws okay give me this service okay i double as so infrastructure as in service so they give you an infrastructure okay only a bare machine if they give you this infrastructure then also you are not able to deploy your application so let me make you understand all these services in detail so for that we have to go to the one node okay so let, let's suppose here this is you okay this is you and you have your one spring boot application Spring Boot app, okay. What you need, like you need framework, right? Framework you need. Let me write it for. Framework you need, okay. What you need, like JVM, JDK, like okay, and server, all these things, common things you needed, okay. So now you want this application to the cloud. Okay, so you say to AWS, now this you go to AWS and say, okay, I want to take this IAAS service. 
so what they will do they will give you a system okay boss this is your system and this is a infrastructure server okay this is as in service you want me to provide infrastructure so now you want few more people why you don't have server you don't have java you don't have anything so you can't code your application there you can't deploy your application there right you only you have system just like in uh, let's suppose you are going in a market and buying a laptop okay so in that laptop what do you have only an operating system nothing else only operating system some common features like common uh, applications okay that kind of like system aws will give under this service got it now what do you need to do you need to sit and configure each and everything by your own when you are buying your laptop after that you need to install jdk you need to install like dependencies of spring boot you need to install server all these things right uh, i know like in a spring boot you don't need to do anything <laughs> there is individual framework but i want to give an example of that okay so you need a uh, one other guy or you will do this is a guy you hire for do the configuration all these configuration in this system okay after configuration this system will become like this now this is ready so just tell me if you are getting a system that is waste system after contact to aws obviously if aws gave you the system then you have to pay for this right you need to pay for this system and you are not able to use at instant like if you go to the aws and aws give you the system you are not able to use because this is a like a uh, basic system right basic with basic configuration you need to do on top of that system which aws has given to you under iws you need to do some modification some configuration then only you are able to use that system right so it will take let's suppose it takes two days time to configure all these things so what do you feel this two days money which aws charges to you it feasible for you because you are not using that system right you just configure all the software in two days so that's why i don't think so this is a justification for your this kind of basic system so this is a disadvantage in iws that's why one thing came in a picture that is pass what is this platform as a service okay so when aws introduced this service pass the need of this guy who are res like responsible for configuration right in this basic system is not needed now in this pass so you say to aws my requirement is i want to host my java application i want to host my php application i want to host my any kind of application just provide me a ready system not this useless system i don't want to configure each and everything by my hand okay so on top of like this like on top of this is a parameter right on top of ias we have pas that's why it become on top of ias because aws do configuration by their end and give you the deployment ready system okay understand now the second thing now third thing come in a picture not second that is last thing i a a s sorry not this s a a s okay so we have these three services ias infrastructure as a service pas and software as a service these three services we have so we have discussed ias platform as a service so why we need like platform as a service because we have to invest time after taking that basic system also through iws so i don't want to be need that system and i don't want to be invest my time in configurations and all so that's why i don't want that bare machine i want to be deployment ready system ready that ready system i want okay so i will go for pass so this is a basic difference when i was learning aws seriously this took me to understand a lot of time okay a lot of time like what is the difference between all these services because when i say like aws pass let me uh, make you on a search if you say 
like I was uh, when I was learning. So if you say IAS and PAS, all these services, you found this very common diagram. Okay, when you go this very common diagram, by looking into this seriously, I am not able to understand anything. Okay, okay. So that's why I am saying this is very common requirement to be understand these three services. Now we talk about the SAS software as a service. So if you have an example of ERP model, right? If you are in college, you have seen like in college portal, in graduation, you have this ERP model where you can apply your hostel pass, right? Hostel pass, your notes, like uh, college uh, assignments and all those ERP model. So those called SAS models, software as a service. You don't need to do anything. These cloud provider will provide you a software. Just go and say, bro, I need this uh, software. My requirement is this, this, this. I have a college. I have this organization. I need a service for that. So they will provide you a software for your matching accurate requirements. Okay. So this is an advantage of that. So and they will provide your maintenance also. They will provide each and everything. Okay. So these are the kind of services we are discussing. So if you have any doubt in these three kind of services which AWS is providing, just comment it down. Okay, I will happy to answer all the comments and we are moving forward to the next topic in next video. Okay, till then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and do not forget to subscribe. If you like this video, just hit the like button. Okay, bye bye.